first, China will reduce the import duty on 145 consumer goods. The list of products is diverse, and it also includes a handful of ag products of particular interest to the United States. Joining us now for this week's Market Intel Report from the American Farm Bureau Federation in D.C. is economist Veronica Nye. Veronica, thank you for joining us once again. Let's start first with an overview of those reductions that are uh, scheduled to take place. I think it's important to note that these are unilateral reductions. China just decided that their consumers would make more purchases if they didn't have to pay higher prices. What a concept, right? Of course. Uh, so those goods include a lot of uh, kitchen-oriented items like refrigerators and freezers that will certainly help us uh, sell more goods to China in the long term. But in the short term, there's a number of cheese products that are of particular interest, as well as macadamia nuts and some different types of baby foods that are of particular interest to U.S. agriculture right now. Uh, Veronica, what would you say maybe are the top U.S. ag products on the list that will get a tariff cut? Well, I think in particular those cheese items are really interesting. So last year the U.S. exported more than $40 million worth of, of cheese that's covered by these tariff reductions. Uh, that was about 17 percent of all the cheese that China uh, imported. But that's down pretty significantly from just a few years when one in four pounds of cheese that were imported by China came from the United States. In large part, that's because the U.S. doesn't have a free trade agreement with China, but New Zealand and Australia, our top competitors uh, in that market, do. So this action will allow the U.S. to try to make up some of that ground that we've lost to our competitors in the last few years. So, Veronica, what would you say would be the big takeaway from this? Well, I think the big takeaway here is that while we're certainly uh, going to, to work very hard to trade up to make this market up, it's really hard to make up ground that you lose. So being proactive on trade agreements and making sure that U.S. agriculture faces as low as possible barriers is incredibly important to making sure that we're top exporters in the world. Veronica, of course, trade agreements have been top of mind for the, the ag sector here as we move forward. What are the rumblings that you're hearing now in D.C. in regards to specifically the North American Free Trade Agreement? Well, uh, the last round finished last week, um, and an interim round is, is anticipated in uh, the second week of December. January, an official round will be held in Canada. Uh, so I, we think that that's very good progress and a good sign that all three nations are continuing to move forward. Uh, there was some additional uh, news out of this, this last round that language on biotechnology and, in, and going further um, to harmonize the rules between our three countries uh, had been advanced. Uh, so that's very positive news and, and we're looking forward to more in January. All right. Well, Veronica, thank you for joining us once again. We appreciate it. AFBF economist Veronica Nye.